Hey internet, Eric here. Um, random video for you guys tonight. Um, it's something that I was going to talk about probably last week, you know, an actual video. I mentioned this a couple times in my previous two live streams when I got off on some of those tangents. And it just got interesting tonight, you know, more interesting. We're going to talk Corey Feldman. And, man, if you're younger than 21, I'm thinking, if you don't know who Corey Feldman is, or more importantly, you don't know who Corey Feldman was, uh, let's see here, early 80s to, say, 1990, Corey Feldman was a very successful child actor. Um, Gremlins, License to Drive, The Goonies, Stand By Me. Um, God, I don't know what else. Um, he did the Dream a Little Dream series, The Lost Boys. You know, huge hit after hit after hit. Very successful child actor. And like most child actors, at least of that era, um, fell into drug abuse and money problems and this and that. Um, but you know what? You cannot deny the kid's star power back then. You know, he made hit movie after hit movie. Now, recently, he's been coming out in the news, he's in the news lately, because he he has been talking for years about um, pedophilia in Hollywood, and he came out saying how he was molested as a young child, um, or young teenager, I'm not sure the actual age, but he's recently come out lately, and he wrote an autobiography a couple of years ago, and he... Wanted to name names of the people who attacked him, or not attacked him, assaulted him sexually. And, of course, he says due to his lawyers, he had to change the names a little bit. And, recently, he was on that Dr. Oz show. If you know, if you don't know who Dr. Oz is, it's okay. He's not important. Um, but he went out on Dr. Oz, and he named um, one of the people who supposedly molested him. And, you know what, if if it really happened, you know, my heart's out to you. Um, I could never imagine going through that, the mental scarring and, and everything that's involved. But now, Corey wants to name more names. He wants to name, um, and he recently came back to Dr. Oz and named a second person who um, apparently had molested him. And... Corey now is asking, he's got some campaign called either, I, I think it's called I Stand With Corey, and the Truth, the Truth Movement, which is also the name of one of his bands, and um, he is asking for, he's trying to raise $10 million for security for him and his family, and to get a movie made. Now, it's not a documentary on you know, pedophilia in Hollywood, you know, where names will be named and blah, blah, blah. No. Corey wants $10 million for security and to make a theatrical movie about his life. You know, with directors and actors and sets and what have you. So he's asking for $10 million to help get this made. Okay. Um, I guess. Now here's the thing. Corey Feldman has a shady past. Like he said, he has, I don't think he's had a hit movie since 1990. And that was the, and that was just him doing the voice of Donatello in the, the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I mean, he did, he, he's been living on straight to video stuff for, since 1990. Um, and he's just, you know, failed marriages. And now with his angels. If you don't know who his angels are, just Google Corey's angels. They are a bunch of very attractive women who live at his mansion. And, you know, they play play in his band. And they often have to sign contracts about walking around scantily clad. And, you know, they can't get fat. And they have to stay pretty and this and that. and Because they're, they're representing a brand, a brand. Seems very cultish. Um, I even mentioned that in my Goonies review. I, I I don't know if it's still available on YouTube, but in my Goonies review, go go to my movie thoughts uh, playlist. Scroll down on Goonies. Um, I talk about you know when I saw Corey on Celebrity Wife Swap, 
and dealing with his angels and everything that they have to do. I I put the link down in that in in that video description, and it's very cultish. Like Corey is very creepy and very disturbing. Anyways, so he hasn't had a hit probably in uh, since 1990, and now he's asking for 10 million dollars. And here's the thing: you've already you've been you've had this bad reputation, especially in this pa in this uh, past. Five years, you know, trying to get your album made, and I've never been to one of his shows. I've said they actually can. I've heard they can actually be fun, but he doesn't have the best reputation. And now he's asking for ten million dollars to make to get this uh this movie made, not a documentary. You can get a documentary made for not even what two million dollars, if less, and you can easily get a documentary made. Corey, name your names. You don't have to hire actors. You can be yourself. Name the names. Get all this stuff public. Say who's doing what to these kids. Because the more you sit there and wait for your $10 million, the more abuse can happen. Did you ever think of that? Probably not. Anyways. So now, and this is hilarious, for some dumbass reason, I follow him on Twitter. I think it was because, you know, I enjoyed him. I enjoyed his movies. Blah, blah, blah. Corey Feldman is posting all over his Twitter feed. And here we go. He posted this two hours ago as of this filming. I must admit, I'm feeling very discouraged. The needle is barely moving. I have vir been virtually ignored by Hollywood at this point. I have no wealthy investors. I appreciate every one of you who has donated. But at this point, I don't have enough for security for my family, let alone make a film. That's because you're asking for $10 million, fool. And I even replied. I said, let me get the screenshot. My phone is still blowing up from all this conversation I've been having on uh, Twitter. Let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. I say, um, <laughs> you can follow me. I don't give a shit. If you're one of Corey's followers, you can follow me and talk to me at... Uh, um, Movies underscore beer 247. I tell him the needle is barely moving because $10 million is a huge amount to ask for. So, and it's true, Corey decides to re actually respond to me. He personally responded to me. And his response was, and there's 100 billionaires and 10,000 multi-millionaires in America alone. It's nothing to them. Wait a minute. So you are expecting that all these billionaires and millionaires should be contributing to you your little fund for making a movie. Um, and and then I also said, plus, if you want to make a theatrical movie, what happens if you don't get, get distribution? And that's true. I mean, Corey is kind of a joke right now. Not because of this, you know, this I stand with Corey stuff where he's trying to end pedophilia. And it, it's a wonderful thing. You know, it needs to end. Pedophiles are the scum of the earth. They're, they're the worst thing you could ever do in life is to harm a child. So if he's doing that, to, you know, I commend him. But then he retweets, or he tweets, whatever. I don't expect the average person to donate big funds. Because the average person, you know, is a working class family, you know, person married with children. They have their own bills to pay. They have mortgages. They have rent. They have to make sure that there's food on the table, clothes on their kid, all this and that. But you want us to contribute to a film that might not possibly ever get made. Okay, Corey. I don't expect the average person to donate big funds. But I pray every day that a millionaire with a heart will step up and make a serious donation. But with only five weeks left to raise the money, it's looking grim. I feel like everyone with money is just standing by, not standing with me. Uh, you are so retarded. So now you're basically begging millionaires to donate to your club. That makes you look even worse. You started this, Corey, and now you're basically, now you realize no one's taking you serious in this whole movie thing security thing, what have you, and you're, you realize that it's a flop, and because you asked for $10 million, 
And now you're begging. You're begging one of your millionaire friends that you no longer have because you've burned so many bridges. You're asking these millionaire friends to donate. How much are they supposed to donate? You need $10 million. Are you expecting them to donate $500,000 or more to get this made? You got to tell these people if they're contributing, where is this going to go? Oh, I'm just going to have security and I'm just going to have you know, a movie made. Who's going to star in it? Who's going to distribute it? Who's going to write it? Who's going to direct it? Soundtrack. All that stuff. Legal rights. All that stuff. $10 million. And then what if these people donate and nothing happens? How do we really know where this money is going to go? Because, you know, I don't know if it's a GoFundMe or if, an, if it's Indiegogo. There have been so many times when this stuff has gone to shit and people have been out money. Now, here's another thing. I recently, Corey named another abuser of his. And while he named this abuser of his, he also, and I'm not going to say name, the, the name of this person, because I have a mutual contact with said person, and I don't want any problems to happen between the two of them. But he recently named another person that did not abuse him, but he made some shady comments to seem like that this actor might have done something. And this actor has written about Corey recently, and so I'm not saying names, It's but who hasn't said anything about Corey lately? Um, and he says basically Corey's full of shit. Corey is basically, you know, he's looking for attention. He's asking for this money. Um, he's a scam artist. And I'm telling you what, dude, I've never met this actor. I've never met Corey Feldman. I'm never going to, you know. I live in fucking Illinois. These guys live in California or Florida or wherever, you know, successful people live. Um, so I have no reason to defend either one of them. I have no def no reason to defend this one actor who who's saying this about Corey. So I'm not going to gain any brownie points for taking his side. But the thing is, he's right. The way Corey is acting makes us seem so fucking shady. Now... Like I said, because you're asking for $10 million to make a feature film to go to theaters and about your life, Corey. And you're going to name names of who's in Hollywood doing this. Well, there's apparently been a lot of names already named, and they didn't ask for $10 million. Terry Crews just came out and named somebody who uh, inappropriately groped him. He's not asking for $10 million to, to make a freaking movie. Why don't you just, you know, you're praying to God, you want all this and that to happen, you know, you're praying for good things to happen. You want to be, you know, the leader of this movement, you know, the voice of the abused. Why don't you just hold a press conference, hold a press conference and name names, okay? Name these names. That's all you got to do. Because as long, the longer you don't do anything, Corey, the more abuse could possibly happen. You don't need $10 million. If you want, make a small independent film about your life. It doesn't have to be theatrical. You can make a small independent film. You can find distributors. You can take it to, if you want to, uh, film festivals and what have you. And get the word out. Get these people off the street. Get these people fired from their jobs. Get these people away from these children and all this influence that they're doing. But you won't. Instead, you're going to be on Twitter and pray for millionaires and billionaires to give you money. It seems very, very shady to me. And I hope that anyone watching this video, you know, you've been watch I've been rambling for about 14 minutes, maybe a little more. Hopefully, you get your money back. Because it doesn't look like anything's going to happen. And my Twitter feed is still popping up. And it's funny because all these, uh, all these Corey followers, it, it really is a cult. They're saying, oh, well, you know, there's so, there definitely are billionaires. You can use it as a tax write-off. Why aren't these people helping Corey? Because Corey is a joke. No one knows where this money really is going to go. Oh, it, it's just, it, it's blowing up like crazy.
And the funny thing is, I'm glad that there are some people out there that are actually seeing my view. You know, they're seeing, well, how do we know what Corey's going to do? So, if I'm wrong, and I hope I am, I hope Corey does the right thing. I hope, you know, something is made, you know, and these names are released. But Corey, I'm not saying you are on them, but lay off the drugs, dude. You know, get away from the angels. Get rid of the cult that you're you're obviously leaning. Clear your head. Clear your nose. And just get a grip, dude. Name the names. Save whoever's being abused. And quit asking and begging for $10 million. Because you're making yourself look worse than your reputation already is. Cheers.